Hi guys, this is Jennifer Terry and welcome to another Philippine travel update. I make travel news, travel guidelines in the Philippines. If you're traveling soon or in the future, consider subscribing to my channel to stay updated with the ever-changing rules. Okay, so have you probably read thumbnail now? The thumbnail na. Okay, before we go into that, let me just say it right here and right now na the Protocol for the vaccinated traveler is still the same, okay, as of now. But there is hope that it will be changed, that there will be a new adjusted protocol for fully vaccinated travelers. I'll tell you now. Hindi na ako magpatumpik-tumpik ta. Let's go straight into it. Why am I saying that there will be a new protocol, that there is hope for fully vaccinated travelers, that maybe they won't have to quarantine for a long time, 10 days, 14 days? Because... In the announcement just this afternoon by Harry Ruke, the spokesperson of the president and the IATF, in the IATF Resolution 116, a small working group is created to study and formulate protocols for inbound international travel of fully vaccinated individuals and such other protocols that may be applicable to them. And this is in accordance with coordination with DOT, DFA, DOH, BOQ, immigration, DOT, DTI, ang raming government agencies, OWA, na involved dito sa small working group. And look guys, keywords here. To study and formulate protocols for inbound international travel of fully vaccinated individuals. Individuals, hindi sinabing, it didn't say only for Filipinos. For individuals, meaning pantay-pantay. So maganda yun. So yun yung sinasabi ko guys na may pag-asa. There is hope now na mababago yung protocol for fully vaccinated individuals. Dahil they created this small working group. So yun po yung masasabi ko na may pag-asa na na mabago. Speaking of vaccinations, vaccinations no? Um, currently, the Philippines has vaccinated more than 700,000 Filipinos now are fully vaccinated. And then, more than 2.5 million Filipinos received their first dose. So, those who have received their vaccines are frontliners, senior citizens, individuals with comorbidity, frontline personnel, and essential worker. So, for some areas, only medical frontline workers and senior senior citizens ang nabavaksinan pa kasi hindi po pantay-pantay for example priority po ngayon ng government are areas with high covid cases economic key areas like manila cebu even davao yeah and um it's also been an it's also been reported that the covid vaccine confidence of the Filipinos increase because as more people get vaccinated, naririnig nila, oh, yung kapitbahay, vaccinated na. So parang na ano din sila, na-encourage. Na but there were problems in Manila vaccination site just two days ago because in Manila, they received Pfizer, right? And then there was an announcement, oh, that this site was going to receive Pfizer. And oh my, people flocked. Ano po, dinagsa, binaha ng tao dahil gusto magpa-vaccine ng, ng Pfizer. Bet pala nila yung Pfizer. Sabi pa nga ni Mayor Iscomo rin, na excited daw yung mga kababayan natin. Tsaka nakalagay pa dun sa message na natanggap nila, first come, first serve basis. Ay naku, kaya nagkagulo. There should be a system, right, of maybe an online appointment. And because of that, the government noticed, oh, people are interested to get vaccinated by a certain brand. And so this DOH naman urged local government units not to use vaccine brands in promoting their respective vaccination activities. Hindi na daw i-announce doon sa vaccination site kung anong vaccines ang available. Following reports of people flocking vaccination sites after finding out that a specific brand, we already know what brand that is, will be given there. I don't want to announce now what kind of vaccines will be administered in that site, but um, the IATF um, spokesperson clarified naman that people will be notified on which vaccine they will receive, but on site. Doon sa time na ituturok na, doon pa sasabihin. Now let's move forward with 
quarantine. The Philippine National Police will be deploying its personnel in various hotel quarantine facilities in Metro Manila amid reports that some of our kababayans escaped and skipped quarantine. Ay naku. So the protocol is still the same guys, even for vaccinated or unvaccinated, those who received first dose or fully, it's still the same. But I told you they created a small working group to formulate protocols for, they said there guys, fully vaccinated. Hmm. So sa mga OFWs natin kababayan or even our, oh no, all Filipinos, if you received your first dose, as much as you can, but finish it off. Tapusin nyo na lang sa abroad po if you can because our supply in the Philippines is still limited. So what if you got Pfizer abroad? Uh, if you enter the Philippines, very limited lang po yung Pfizer natin. Or what if you got Sinopharm? What if you got Sinopharm? Sinopharm? Ako po, wala pa tayong supply niyan. Hindi mo gustong ihalo-halo yung vaccine mo. You want oh, same brand for two doses. So, as much as you can po, if you receive your first dose, get the second dose. Kompletuhin mo na. And it was mentioned here that they will formulate protocols for fully vaccinated. Yeah. So, clear dyan. Fully vaccinated. Hindi yung half dose lang muna. And this question has been asked a lot too. I am arriving in Cebu. Do I need a letter of acceptance? So, this is what I have realized from asking a lot of people who arrived and from people who shared their experience a letter of acceptance naman talaga when in the Cebu airport you can still arrive there but the problem is there are certain airlines that will ask for a letter of acceptance upon check-in may mga airlines po na naghahanap ng letter of acceptance sa check-in sa abroad pa lang these two experiences happened to our kababayans this one is from Qatar Airways who flew just two days ago on OFW coming from Qatar, who flew with Qatar Airways. And then there was also Eva Air, na hinanapan ng letter of acceptance. But we also had kababayans who, who went home and arrived in Cebu Airport na walang letter of acceptance. So nakakalito, no? Hmm. Anyway, guys, um, one of our subscribers shared his experience trip. Tips from someone who actually made it to Cebu in May 19, Eva Air. Pre prepare all the requirements needed. And then, Eva Air had their checklist of all documents needed. And what was asked from him were negative COVID result because that's a requirement in Taiwan for transit. And next is MCIA. We all know that. Trace app. Yep. Um, letter of acceptance was asked from him. And hotel quarantine. And then proof of connecting flight if you are a non-OFW. And the Bawenya wife in America also shared. I like the name, by the way. Hi all, we reached Mactan Airport this morning, May 19, with Eva Air. We departed Los Angeles. And then she confirmed that the quarantine is only two to three days in the hotel. But there are some people in trouble in Los Angeles because they have no letter of acceptance. We have no letter of acceptance as well, but they asked me if I am a resident of Cebu and I said yes. We allowed boarding. She said she will upload her vlog, so watch out for her vlog, guys. She, she traveled with two kids. Eva is so strict though. That's what happened, guys. It's really much better if you have a letter of acceptance, guys, to secure... Ha, yung travel nyo. I know, I understand getting this letter of acceptance may not be easy as there are LGUs that is not issuing anymore or will not issue without negative COVID result. Ako po, pakiusapan nyo po, ipakita nyo yung new memo ni Miss Quinn. But there are those naman who landed without it. Nakakalito talaga guys, I'm so sorry to give you this confusion. It is what's happening and I don't want you to be in trouble. Check also the requirements of your airline. Visit their website. Summary. With letter of acceptance for Cebu bound, non-resident of Cebu, as secure it as much as possible po. And then what else? For the vaccinated individuals, travelers, there is some hope and we are waiting that they will formulate as soon as possible your protocol. So yun yung update natin guys. I will make another video for question and answer po. 
And thank you so much for watching. For those who traveled recently to Manila and Clark po, shared in your experience to help others then. I will see you again, guys. Take care and have a safe travel. Bye!